All right, guys, I think we are going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for your patience. Hope y'all are having a good, uh, good Tuesday. Doing a little something different today. Gonna get started streaming a little earlier and, uh, might take like an extended break somewhere down the line, but, um, I mean, hell, God knows I could play this game for hours on end, so it's probably going to be what exactly what we end up doing, so. Hello, Juliver! Happy Tuesday. I hope you've been having a good one. I fucked with my um, stream settings a little bit more. I bumped us back down to 30 FPS. Um, see if that helps with the encoder error at all. I don't have my hopes up. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully it hasn't been too choppy for you guys. Um, but, um, if you guys see anything, like, especially egregious, uh, don't hesitate to, to let me know, because I try to alt-tab and, like, check on OBFs now and then, but I'm, <laughs> I am not the best about it, so... been watching a lot of Forged in Fire today. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show. It was on History Channel, but I found out that the History Channel website has um, basically the entire show on their site, like, free to stream. And so that's what I've been doing all day today. <laughs> Forgot how much I loved that show. Alright, so yes, I was playing this later show last. I think I tried to do a little bit of off-stream questing. Get my numbers up. Okay, yeah, I did make it all the way down here to the Weeping Peninsula. If I can put an ash on my shield. Oh, that's not. <laughs> I was gonna go sit down by the campfire, but no. <laughs> that's not how this works. Let me double check. Alright. Audio should be good. Alright. Oh, I did it. Oh, no, I didn't equip it with no skill. It just has no skill. Okay, cool. I think I want to experiment with weapon types a little bit. Because I love swords, of course. But I haven't really used anything else besides swords. Even when it comes to, like, colossal weapons. I've mostly been using colossal swords. Um... Oh, I don't have enough dexterity for Rogier's rapier. Rogier rapier. <sighs> um, oh, I'm only a point off, though, so I might... At least that would be a different flavor of, uh... Of sword. Um, Morningstar would put me overweight, and it's not as strong, but wonder, let me see how many smithing stones I have. Yeah, I can I can throw some on that morning star. We're not in any kind of hurry to do anything. Let's fuck around and find out, as the kids like to say. I actually like the Banished Knight Helm with the, the rest of this armor. I think it it still fits it quite well, especially with the dragon up top. Very classy. Well, wherever you are to you for that matter, it's lay out your arms then. 
I also was trying to think of a better strategy for Renala's fight that I will try to employ. I think I'm going to try to use rune arcs to get as many of the sweetings as I can like manage because last time I was trying to go easy on them I cannot afford that. And I'm also going to wait to summon Ingval until her second phase. Um. Oh, I haven't upgraded this one at all. Hmm, I thought just improves the attack. I'm gonna wait to do that. So, Morning Star. Let's see if we have anything good to put on this. Okay, there we go. Brace ornament and step into a low stance that prevents recoil from most enemy attacks. Oh, so I could just keep swinging with that. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should do quality or keen. That's 145. That's 147. Yeah, let's do keen. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna have to find some enemies to clobber. Um, I'll switch to Lighter Helm. See if that... Okay, cool. So that won't... Nope, that won't take me to a heavy loadout. I've never used a mace before. I also... I want to try out the flail. I think that might be a bit beyond me. Right at the moment, but... I do want to try it at some point. Alright, so, I've already talked to Irina. Mm, I don't know if I want to test this out on the denizens of Castle Morn, but I do need to go and get that, uh that map fragment. So we are gonna go do that. What time is it? Oh, it's evening, okay. Just gotta be careful not to get caught by the Deathright Bird or the Knight's Cavalry. All right, I know you're there, so let it loose, bud. Might go ahead and take this take care of this guy though. At least there's plenty of scenery to hide behind. Buddy. and get this side of grace in the castle after I look around a little bit. I 
think there's... I think I recall there being something behind the castle, but... Like I said, I want to find that site of grace before I... get too exploratory. Oh no! Oh no! What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't... What the hell was that? I can't... I can't control my character right now, what the fuck? Oops. Okay, sorry. What I was saying is, uh, I mute. I accidentally muted myself. That one was on me. Um, what I was saying is, it's fucked with the uh, configuration of my controller a couple of times out of nowhere. So I might have to. Yeah, because right now I'm trying to jump. Can't pause. Can't do anything except to run around. So what I'm going to do. Oh gosh, I don't even know. Oh god, how do I even do this? I don't know which key it is to select it. It's not enter. <laughs> this is so pathetic. I've never used my keyboard on this before, so I don't... Thought it might be spacebar. Nope. Well, I think what we are unfortunately gonna have to do... Wait, what the fuck? All right, we are going to have to do the dreaded thing of uh, quitting without saving. And then I'm gonna get yelled at by the game when I reboot. So you're not supposed to quit without saving. So let me go into games, settings, controller. Oh god, I'm in big picture mode. All right, so let me see. Enable Steam input. Huh. I had 
changed anything. So again, that's a little weird, but we'll reboot and see if it's any better. First OBS betrays me after I don't change any settings with it. And now Elden Ring has betrayed me by messing with my controller configuration. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. It appears controller is back to normal, I believe. Yay. Okay, well. That was alarming. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Let me just double check audio and all of that. All right, cool. We are back. Nothing in here. Oh, angry jellies. Why are they angry? Oh, they're all sitting around a specific person. I'm sorry, jellies. All right, sorry about that, guys. Okay. Just an arteria leaf, huh? Well. Siege of Castle Morn, a lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. right you shit okay good come here 
There we go. Okay, now to continue. A little tour out back. Don't think there's much you can reach back here considering there's a whole like second area. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, misfortune. <laughs> drop my runes anyway. I'm pretty sure it's in Renala's boss room, which I am not- yep, nope. Not gonna try to go back and get those. And it is nighttime, probably, so I don't want to trigger that death right bird. So I'm gonna fast travel back up here and head this way. I was like, where's the knight's cat? Oh, here it is. Hey, Walter! Welcome in! Not... not much? Double Dutch? I don't know. That did not work. Anyway. <laughs> Hope you have a good Tuesday, Walter! Thanks for stopping in. Really stupid blade dogs. Hello, bleed dog. Hello, you stinky bleed dog. Go eat a deer, ugly. I see you, fucker. And yet I cannot target you. Please. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna get Ingval to clear this area for me after I chug a potion. Good attempt, thanks. You tried. Hey, buddy. Is using Ingval almost definitely overkill? Absolutely. Am I doing it anyway? Also, yes. There we go. I was like, buddy, have you gotten any of those flowers yet? Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck did I hit? I'm <laughs> just fucking free. Why are you... What the fuck? Well, it's guiding it to things that I'm not even aiming at. Please. Please. <laughs> All right, so I guess I just have to. It's fine. We're fine. We'll just eat some boluses after we kill this thing. Can I craft some? Yes, I can. Oh. I don't know what you were stabbing at, but thank you. Just going to ignore him. No kill like overkill, truly. Oh, a thing. 
A golden rune. Wow. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm still technically engaged in combat with them. Ugh. I hate those stupid little flower things. I know I should just ignore them, but it's like, oh, you think you're gonna trick me, motherfucker? I'll show you! And then I promptly die because I get poisoned because I was too mad to let them go. I'm very good at this game. I'm very good at remaining calm and not getting frustrated. Even if it's not true, I'm manifesting it. We're manifesting it today, chat. What the fuck? Oh, I see now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, I see. Very, very scary, very intimidating. Wow, so scary. Uh, ladder. Oh, not ladder. Ladder. Hey, bud. Oh, oh, you got some pots, huh? Don't you? Look at you, little bud. <laughs> Oops, I thought I had my flail equipped. Oh, and now I have a, a quaint little hat. I love the Carrion Knight set so much. I know I've said that repeatedly, but it's such a good set. Hand ballista. Oop. Just in case. Because you never know. I like that the. Um, well, I don't like that the uh, ballista and uh, giant crossbows and stuff. Uh, respawn it's kind of a pain in the ass but it's funny because it like sort of implies that they're alive because <laughs> they respawn with like all of the enemies and stuff every time you rest at a side of grace now you can just imagine like muffled screaming coming from like either that or one of the fire shooter things um as you beat it to death with <laughs> a hammer or something. I don't know. It's probably weird that I think that that's funny, but oh well. Earthbore Cave. I don't know what's in here, but we'll find out. Oh, I know what's your, what your little deal is, fucker. Oh, I need to put on my little lantern. My little lantern! I actually do like this flail. I haven't used the Ash of War that I equipped to it much. Right? Alive and not just rebuilt? <laughs> exactly! Oh. Hey, bud. It does look like the Wild Strikes attack has a unique um, thing for maces versus swords, because I've used it for a sword before. Goodbye, big rat. Alright, 
Is that all of you? Looks like it. Let me just see. Oh, none of those made contact. Great job. I checked, um, I checked my hours in this game after I was talking last time about, like, yeah, I think I have a little over 300. I'm almost at 340 hours. <laughs> and I'm not sick of it yet. I know I keep saying, oh, yeah, when I'm tired of it, I'll move on to this, 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 or this, you know, but I'm not tired of it yet. <laughs> ah, shit. This is, yes, this is boss area. Fuck. Um... Well, balls. Let me just chug this. Chug one of these. And then... Lord ahead, truly. Everybody knows that the room bears are the most powerful creatures in this game. I saw a cool video from Zuli the Witch earlier today. Um, that was like kind of a look on the the rune bears and um they have reptilian eyes like cause she zoomed in on the model and like there's like a connection between them and the dragons kind of cause like I don't know if it's intentional but like oh what the hell um ouch thanks Inky Pop um what the fuck dude I haven't even hit you yet Leave me alone. Um, but like in the server test or whatever, there was uh, rune bears would drop um, dragon hearts. I hit you once and you just fucking come after me full force. Come on. Ingval, you could be doing a little more to help though. Please, please fucking hit him, dude. Come on. <laughs> Your intimidating approach is not intimidating him in the least. Just hit him. Makes sense. I also know that a lot of times in Souls games, there's like this kind of like I don't, I don't think allegory is the right word, but like trying to attain immortality and power through becoming a dragon is like a recurring theme, and um, I like the idea of a creature unintentionally becoming draconic you know like like you said the like eating from a dead or dying dragon and inheriting some of that draconic power like that would explain why the fuck rune bears are so tough wait did i even get what was down there i wasn't paying attention which never ever happens pretty sure That's fine. I'll just go down there and check. Let me rest really quick, though. Oh, 
Ooh. Love that lead proc. Oh, come on, you two. I hate their little hip checks. Like, that's so fucking demeaning. Like, oh, you hip bumped me and that caused damage, little assholes? Okay, come on. Oh, you're so big and bad earlier when you were fucking biting me from behind. But no, as soon as I get a couple hits in. Oh, I don't want to free anymore. I was definitely blocking. I don't know why that didn't get blocked, but whatever. It's fine. I'll go the long way. Whatever. I'll put my dumb little lantern on. Run around in my dumb little boots with my dumb little flail. It's fine. I'm not mad. Oh, my runes are right there. Cool. What the fuck, dude? I'm just gonna stop wasting FP. Alright, I'm actually... Phone app sucks dick, bro. I haven't been here for like four minutes. Oh no! Yeah, the, I have never really had good luck with Twitch on my phone, in all honesty. Like, on its best days, it works. Like, barely. And on its worst days, it's totally, totally unusable. A lot of Twitch systems act actually just fucking suck shit in general. Alright, let's try this Wild Strikes again. I probably should have been a little closer. Oh shit. How long can I go? Oh my god. Yeah, that takes no FP. I'm <laughs> just fucking continuously pulverizing. Yeah. It looks like it would be more effective with a sword than with a mace, but shit. Maybe with, like, bigger enemies, like ones that are eye level on me, might work better. Small dudes I should just hit normally. No, I did pick up whatever was down here. Okay, well. It's fine. Little detour. I still think it's so stupid that they're getting rid of hosting. Because, like, the things that they were like, oh, well, it's not good for actual engagement with the other channel because when you host someone, it doesn't automatically, like, send... Um, your viewers to their chat so they're still in your chat they're not in the hosted channels chat and it's like my brother in Christ you're the one who designed the mechanism you can change the mechanism my brother in Christ my sister in Satan my sibling in Baphomet <laughs> Whichever one, you can change this. Oh, nice little tuck and roll. Yeah. 
love that guard counter. Dudes out here are pretty snaky, too. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm just here picking some flowers. You don't need to mind me. I actually do feel kind of bad for the demi- Well, I mean, I don't feel kind of bad. I feel bad for the demi-humans and the beastmen and stuff, because, like, you know... They didn't ask for this. That's the one thing that I like like about Kenneth Height is that he seems pretty genuine in wanting to like patch things up between humans and demi humans. And like, that's cool. I can get down with that. Is he still a dickhead? Absolutely. Oh my god, yes. Well, now he's more annoying and pretentious than actually a dickhead. I don't know if anybody else has arbitrary lines <laughs> that you draw with like, well, not quite a dickhead, but. Honestly, I feel real bad for a lot of enemies in this game. Exactly. Auntie and atheism. Yes, very extremely good addition. Thank you, Alter. But yeah, I like the worm faces, as creepy as they are and as annoying as they are to fight, like, I still feel bad for them because, like, I'm pretty sure they're, like, cursed humanoids. Well, I mean, obviously they're humanoids of some kind, but, like, they just, I don't know, like, they show so many, like, pro social behaviors with each other. Like, they seem to be talking, and, like, they've even shown, like, an ability to mourn people for. Oh, jeez, boys. Because, like, you can find one at a grave and it looks like it's crying over it. And, like, it... If I'm not mistaken, it doesn't really aggro you until you, like, take the item that's sitting on the grave, which, like... It's totally understandable. <laughs> like, you're grave robbing in front of this creature. It was probably a person at one point. Also, yes, I am going to go ahead and summon Ingval. Maybe, actually, I think we could get away with maybe. Hmm. I like the skeletal militia men, they're pretty good. I'm trying to decide. Fanged imps are nice probably be nice for this because they're very quick and they proc bleed which is nice that the poor motherfuckers are constantly puking like damn what a terrible existence exactly and the omens like oh those poor fellas It's, and it's funny, too, because, like, the there are tons of, like, actually human enemies that I do not feel bad about, like, attacking at all. Like, perfumers. I'm sure they were fine before, you know, they got into the whole, like, you know, reaping jars for ingredients type thing. But, like, oh my gosh. Fuck perfumers and fuck the omen killers. They went from, like, army medics to, like, torturers. At least the perfumers did. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, I think omen killers have just been dickheads from day one. <laughs> it's in the name. Like, ever since I found out that the reason that the jars, like, have to live in isolation is because perfumers want to like crack them all open for like potion ingredients like that yeah I hate perfumers all 
right. So I'm just gonna switch to Magic Glint Blade. Ow! Oh, there she goes. Wait. Yes. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. I didn't want to attack them anymore because they get scared after you kill the queen, which is heartbreaking. The least I could do is not fuck these guys up more. Yeah, they straight up, like, they will not fuck with you after that. Which is like such a smart like game design thing. It makes sense because I feel like a lot of us have all have asked ourselves like, oh my god, like the dude you were working for is dead. Like, why are you still attacking me? You're not gonna get a paycheck from the motherfucker, you know. But it also makes me feel very bad. <laughs> not that bad. It's still pretty bad. All right, so let's head back this way. And then we will go over the bridge towards the Erg Tree. You know, I think my biggest achievement in Elden Ring isn't, you know, beating Millennia on the third attempt in New Game Plus or whatever. It's not, you know, almost platinuming in the game. I think my biggest flex in this game is the fact that I am about 340 hours in. And I have never killed a turtle. Oh god, you little freaks. Oh, rune arc, nice. Never mind you little freaks, you can keep attacking me. And like I joke about unfollowing people who attack tur who attack the turtles because like I get it. It, it. They're a resource. I understand. I can't do it, but I get it. <laughs> but legit, and this is so petty, and like this is not shitting on the streamer whatsoever because this is just a stupid brain thing of mine. But I w went to like go watch somebody. Uh, stream Elden Ring the other day. Not somebody I was following. I was just like in the category browsing. And I noticed uh, his character was wearing the merchant clothes, which to my knowledge you can only get by murdering a merchant. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not gonna watch your stream, you fucking murderer. <laughs> Hello, rat. I see your little glowy, glowy eyes. I hear him. Oh, okay. I was like, I hear you squealing around, but... Wow, and that does not take much stamina either, does it? That takes less stamina than a normal strike. Well, in combat, I guess. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Oh, also Deli says hi again. She cr climbed right into my lap once I sat down to watch the stream. Do you have a new fan? <gasps> I'm so honored. Oh my gosh. If the beloved Deli is the fan, I've truly made it. Fuck getting affiliate or a partner. Any of that shit. If cats like me, I have made it on this platform. Not enough juice. You, you mentioned perfumer and how dare you. Omen killers are just doing their best in a world of demigods and draconics. <laughs> but I mean, okay, you have to admit, it's pretty fucked up that in the pursuit of their prey, omen killers dress up as the thing of nightmares that every omen see, because like omens n never have anything but nightmares. And all of them dream about the same horrific creature killing them, and that's what omen killers dress up as. So it's not even- it's like a- It's like a horrible, horrible icing on a horrible, horrible cape. Cake. Not a cape. Jesus. But I know that, like, prior to the Shattering, or the War of the Shattering, like, perfumers were genuinely, like, good and useful and i mean omen killers are also useful i just don't think that they're very good but i mean again this is a fromsoft game there are hardly any uh, there's no moral absolutes in this game like there are definitely shitty people like shitty 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 people but uh Even characters that, you know, seem okay for the most part have some fucked up stuff going on. Like, even Renala, like, as much as I love Renala, and, like, you know, she's been through so much, and I definitely think her trauma is, like, informing her actions and her responses to stuff, but she's just sitting in Raya Lucaria constantly, like, rebirthing these sweetings in her own image but they're still coming out flawed because like you have to have the rune of the unborn to get like rebirthed properly and because like you know i'm sure she thinks because she has it it will positively impact them but we see that's not the case you know like they don't they don't have legs they're, and like, it seems like their mental capacity is very low. And like, I'm not saying that, like, they might not be suffering. They might be like perfectly content um, in their existence as it is right now. Like, and if they are, I am very glad for that. Um, but regardless, it's still kind of fucked up when you think about it. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually gonna fast travel over here and try that way. Like, I love Selen as a character. Um, and I will make, like, a couple of arguments in her favor purely based on the ambiguity of some things but like the evidence port points towards her being a horrible person like just being an absolute shit sack of a person especially if all the people she involved with her experiments were unwilling they might not have the mental capacity to solve exactly like you know that's, you know, my fault too. Like, well, I mean, like, it's kind of fucked up, but also, like, if they're not suffering, I can't really pass too much judgment on it. Um, but yeah, like, even, like, even if, like, we give the, like, biggest benefit of the doubt to Selen and say that, like, well, maybe the people in her experiments, like, volunteered to do it, like, 
even if they genuinely wanted to help in the pursuit of this discovery, like, they are now what, and we can easily assume to be basically eternal agony until they're destroyed. Um, like, the uh, School of Graven Mages is basically like Raya Lucaria's omen killers, you know? They're the nightmare of the Academy. And that's why when Selen gets turned into um, a School of Graven Mages, along with what I assume to be other mages, um, it's both like, you know, you can view it as her getting what she wants, but also her getting her just desserts. Especially if you think that, like, if you're of the opinion that, like, oh, she did this on all, like, unwilling test subjects. Which I think is an entirely fair uh, assumption to make, really. Like, I'm the odd one out for being like, well, maybe they volunteered. Because <laughs> we don't get much evidence, if any evidence, for that. Um, so I realize I'm kind of being unrealistic with that one. But her ending, you know, like, she got what she wanted, and you can either interpret that as being like, oh, good for her, or good, she got what she deserved. And I think both are fair, you know? <gasps> We're almost out of church, which means we get to hear a Melina sermon. I haven't been this excited to sit down for Sunday school since we were doing craft days at church. Let me take my helmet off so I can be proper and face her like she should be. Ooh. Both. Exactly, yeah. It's very much both. Oh. Nice. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Yes, please. In Marika's own words. Then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Also, like, hello, Melina, best girl. Truly, I love Melina so much. But I love how, like, in out, like, out of context, especially, like, as somebody who was raised in a very religious household, like, it sounds like a uh, case of, oh, she's doing what, what's best for them, even if it doesn't seem like so, like, in the Can moment. But um, when you, like, view her actions out of context, she's just For such a, a raging asshole. Marika, I mean, not Melina. Melina is definitely like on best girl list without a doubt her mom can go fuck herself which she did several times and had children from it but i digress i feel like is this where the paint oh i don't have that painting yet like a call truly truly like, that's, that's such a good comparison to how I feel about Melina, because, like, on one hand, I want to respect her wishes. Like, if she truly feels like this is her destiny to be used to help crown <laughs> Murky coming in with that deep lore cut. Uh, there are still some kind of specific ins and outs that I, like, don't know about the game. Like, I had, until somebody pointed it out to me, I had, I never really registered the um the connection between um Mikola and Saint Trina and I'm still not entirely uh like 
familiar with it. But like, Melina being a cult victim is such a good comparison because it's like, she says that she wants these things, but like when it comes to something that's self-destructive and the fact that like she was basically groomed from birth to like be like this thing, this kindling for the, you know, flame that would destroy the Erd tree. And, like, she doesn't talk much about it, but, like, one can assume that she failed. Because she talks about being burned and bodiless. So that could point towards her having tried to ignite the Erd Tree before, but either like her convictions weren't strong enough or the like, you know, the, the candidate for the Elden Lord just like ended up falling through. And like, I just, I wish we could like probe her braid a little bit more to be like, okay, but really is this what you want or do you want to make your mother proud? Because I have terrible no news for you, Melina. And I hate to be the one that breaks it to you, but you will never make your mother proud because your mother can't be like proud of anything but herself. Like her kids were never good enough. Her partners were never good enough. Like, she wants them all to continue struggling towards these unrealistic goals, you know? And it's basically like, I want you to fight and kill each other so I can figure out which one of you is the best. Instead of, like, being a remotely sane mother or wife. Just, mm, no. If I find an upgraded version of you, you're fucking out of here, buddy. It's what she did Godfrey. You're right, and you should- I'm gl- okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's like- I really feel like Melina has been, like, you know, has been positioned to take this burden on whether she actually wants to take it or not. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm also gonna switch out for Ingval, cause- Love you, Fang Dimps. Don't know that you're gonna be much help here. Like, I think that Marika might have had some good intentions at some point, but that in no way fucking makes up for the way that, like, she's treated everyone, like, not just her children, oh, Jesus, and, like, her husbands, but, like, her subjects, too. Like, such arbitrary, you know, rules and restraints and you know, the fact that omens are born, like, born cursed. What was the point of that? Why are you damning someone before they're even born? The fact that she did that to her own children, you know? Oh shit, okay. Okay, I thought you were gonna shoot more holy bolts at me. Oh, now you are. Oh, never- oh. A parting gift from that Erd Tree avatar. Ooh, nice. Love getting that opaline bubble tear. I have a lot of strong feelings about a lot of the characters in this game, as evidenced by how often I just randomly pop off about any of them at any given time. I was watching a stream last night and the streamer was talking about um, maybe getting an Elden Ring tattoo, and I've been- I've considered doing the same, 
Um, probably somebody's great rune. I was thinking either uh, Millennia's great rune or Rykard's. Um, the only thing that makes me hesitate about Millennia is there are so many fucking, like... I hate to say this because I'm, I'm a fan of Radon. Oh, what the fuck are you doing, bud? Um, but like Radon fanboys who think Melina is like the most evil of the demigods or what, like she, you know, destroyed all that shit on purpose for no reason other than the fact that she didn't want to lose. And it's like, if you think that there were no stakes to that fight, nor was there any reason for that fight, I don't think you actually like read much of, <laughs> much of the information about this game, I have to say. Um... Like, it was definitely foolhardy and a mistake, but, like, they talk about the fact that Melina had to give up her pride in order to use the Scarlet... R I don't know why I'm hopping from pot to pot, because it's fun. Um, but she had to give up her pride in order to, like, use the Scarlet Rot effectively. And, um... Even then, she couldn't fucking use it effectively because it quickly got out of control. And it's like, I don't know, it's not like, it's not like she personally communed with some kind of outer god and asked them to curse her with the scarlet rot so she could spread ruin to everywhere she went. Like, she was born with this. She was cursed with this. Like, it's a part of her that she kind of understands, but probably not entirely. And, like, again, yes, it was very fucking foolhardy for her to try and, um, use it. But at the same time, like, what choice did she have? Especially because, like, I know the timelines are kind of, uh, up in the air. But, like, if Mikola had already been kidnapped at this point, then the reason she was in Kaled is because Mikola was being held underneath Kaled. She wanted to get her brother back. It wasn't a pointless land grab. Like, a lot of people say, oh, she was, like, trying to conquer more territory for Mikola. And, like, that could be true if Mikola hadn't been kidnapped at that point. But, like, I think it's much more likely that Moog snatched him, like, as the shattering happened. And, like... Melania well, was just trying to get her brother back. <gasps> Hello, Grace. Welcome in. We're just... We're just talking lore. <laughs> and running around the Weeping Peninsula. Yeah. So far we have covered, um... Fuck the Perfumers. And, uh, Omen Killers. Only current Perfumers, though. Old Perfumers were fine. Um, let's see. Oh, how Melina is the, is like a cult victim. And how Marika is a huge piece of shit with unrealistic expectations for everyone around her. So the typical lore discussion. Oh, and how Selen is probably a war criminal, but you can maybe make a couple arguments to save her from that. Fuck you! Oh, I hate you, you stupid son of a bitch. I hate pages. Oh, nope, nope. I'm getting my runes back, so help me God. I didn't even notice. I had enough for a level up until I died. And also, like, I hope just because I'm, like, minorly knowledgeable about this game, like, I don't consider myself, like, fucking expert by any means. Um, like, it's fine to disagree with me or like have a different take on stuff like I love talking about that kind of thing and um I just want to be sure I don't shut down any like discussion especially about like 
ambiguous parts of this game because like I think there was so much of this game that was intentionally left um you know vague and up for interpretation Oh, of course you summoned behind me, Ingval. Can I push you down there to take the heat first? Thanks, bud. Get him. Ooh, get him. There we go. Ooh! Thanks, bud. The joy of Souls games is that so much of the lore is intentionally unclear and up to interpretation. So any theories of valid theory- Yes! Thank you! Like, there are some, like, of course there are, like, some things that are like, well, this is pretty canonically established. There are so few, like, so few facts that are, that are like that, you know? Also, I am going to be right back really quick. And back. Yeah, like I said, I love talking about lore and stuff. Especially, again, when a game is so ambiguous, like Soulsborne games. Um, I'm pretty sure this... Oh yeah, I have to use a stone sword key on this one, so I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck with that one yet. But like, I've bitched to the- or I've bitched to Grace about this many times is, um, like, plot points and lore and stuff like that in Resident Evil Village. <laughs> like, I'm not one of those people that is like, you can't be a fan of a game or any of its characters if you don't play the game. You have to play the game order to be a fan. I'm not one of those people, you know? And like, I'm not the boss of anybody's media consumption. I can't make anybody watch or play anything. But I have frequently complained about um, people who seem to like blatantly ignore very obvious plot points in the game or like very obvious things in order to like support their own theory like i will forever roll my eyes at the people who try to act like ethan winters is the actual villain of the game because like he just came into this village and you know like yeah lady dimitres kidnapped him but he didn't have to he didn't have to kill the kill the daughters and stuff and it's like i like understand like you can like characters that are bad guys and realize they're bad guys and not try to warp it into some shit where, oh no, the, the, the protagonist is really the bad guy. Like, you don't gotta, you don't gotta do that. 
And it also, it's such a shallow reading of the game, too, because, like, that's part of what makes the story so compelling, is the fact that, like, parenthood is such a major th theme throughout the game that you see with, like, Ethan and Rose. It, well, Ethan, Mia, and Rose. And, uh, Miranda and Eve. Or Eva, not Eve. Um... And then Lady Dimitrescu and the daughters. Like, yes, it's heartbreaking when Lady Dimitrescu, like, mourns over her daughters. Like, it's so sad. But also, you have to realize that canonically, in this game, they are responsible for the torture and murder of so many people, including the natives that you so desperately want to be. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's wrong to, like, like those characters. I just, I feel like people have a hard time being like, I like villainous characters, but also I'm gonna pretend like they never did anything wrong ever. If people are just joking around and they're like, Blank did nothing wrong, like, I love that. I'm also very much like, such and such did nothing wrong. Um, but like, people want to be like, oh, I'm such a fan of villain characters, and then seem to be like, allergic to complexity. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, like, hi, men or whatever, but, like, Ethan ain't bad. Yeah, and that's what gets me, is, like, I get it. Sometimes, like, you know, especially, like, when you're used to male protagonists, like, in most of the games that you play, like, it could be, like, hard to empathize with, like, male characters, because, you know, a lot of times it's... Like, hard to put yourself in the shoes of an existence that, like, totally wasn't- hasn't been yours at all. But, like, as somebody who frequently, like, skips over games because I don't- I don't find it interesting to, like, play as dudes a lot of times. Like, it just- it's, like, in the context of their- the plots that they're in or whatever. Like, I- Ethan's story is one of the most compelling stories that I have ever, like, seen in a game. And I fucking cried like a baby at the end of Resident Evil 8. And, like, I get it, you're mad. You're mad that Ethan killed Big Titty Vampire Mommy. I get it. I wish that she didn't have to get murdered either. But... <laughs> It is foolish to pretend that any of the Dimitrescs are perfect angels who are misunderstood and did nothing wrong. Embrace villainous characters for being villainous, yes. Exactly, Juliver. <laughs> yeah, I used to be on a, um on a Discord server for, it was specifically for like sapphic or like women loving women, uh, Resident Evil 8 fans. It was pretty cool for the most part, but there were definitely some discussions that had me like, okay guys, I get that we're here for the ladies, but like, could you please have a little bit of like empathy for <laughs> For, um, let's see, the dad who is trying to save his daughter and becomes horrifically mutilated in the process. Like. Not every character needs a redemption arc. Let them be villains, damn it. Truly! And, like, also, like, it's fine to have your head cannons that, like, or, like, you know, think of an AU in your head where they're, like, evil-ish, but not blatantly evil. But, like, you can't, like, you can't construe or misconstrue canon for your own devices. Like, you know, AUs are fine and head cannons are fine. But, like, you can't say, well, canonically, you know, well, Lady Dimitrescu actually, you know, she didn't kill that many of her maidens or whatever. It's like... You literally have to wade through, like, knee-deep blood in her basement from how many women she's murdered. 
I'm sorry guys, that's just an indisputable part of the game. Ooh, I forgot to get down here and get to this artist shack. Or not artist shack, but the merchant shack. That being said, I am an enormous Lady Dimitrask simp, and a simp for pretty much every woman in that game. I literally, like, if I had a, if I had a, what, if I had my camera on right now, you would be able to see that, like, right over my shoulder, I have a framed print that is, like, a recreation of, um, the creation of, uh, Adam that I believe it was... Uh, I'm not sure, but, um... <laughs> It's literally, it's like the creation of Adam, but it's fucking Ethan getting his hand ripped off by, like, Mother Miranda, and she's flocked by Lady Dimitrask and Moreau and Heisenberg. Like, I'm a huge fan of all of these characters. I support women's wrongs, wholly and truly. Thank you. Well, there's been an age Thank you, Grace. You put it so well. Do you have anything worth buying? Mm. Hmm. Nothing I desperately need right now. I'll have to post a picture of it in the Discord at some point. Oh, also, I wanted to, Walter, I wanted to extend the invitation to the Discord. Um, I do have a Discord command, I just forgot to set it to anybody else but me who's able to post it, so let me... It should work. I also have a commands command now. Ha, ah, okay, so that's Discord command. Cool. So I do have my little list of commands that work. All right. So that all, that doesn't list the utility commands, just so people don't use them willy nilly. But I do have a couple of commands that um let you like change the title and stuff like that of this the stream that's pretty handy whenever you're doing variety streams okay oh okay i remember i think the dungeon is here ish and if that link is broken let me know and i will make a new one but i think it should I think it should work. Oh, well, it's not the cave, but there is a side of grace there. Oh, I should... God, I keep forgetting to level up. Okay. Level up. Put one more point into dexterity. And then we will focus on not getting vigor checked. Okay, so... I know there is a dungeon along this way. I just can't. Maybe it's entrances up this way.
Hmm. Maybe not. Oh yeah, came up this way. Oh no, I'm stuck in a trap. Okay, I was like, no, don't do this to me again. The first glitch I ever ran into in this game was getting stuck in a tree and then getting murdered by said tree. Oh, I hear that. I hear that scarab, but I don't know if I want to... Try again later when I'm less scared of the land octopi. I mean, you seem pretty sure. Jumping required ahead. Oh, cool. Ooh, Eclipse Crest Heater Shield. I wonder what the difference is. Looks like better at non-physical. Well, I don't know. Look pretty similar to me stat-wise. Okay. Gosh, I know there's a dungeon somewhere along. Or no, I think it's on the other side. It's Tombsward Catacombs. I believe. Because I remember, yeah, that, that dude's pointing here, which... Hmm. We'll try over on this side, though. You would think in 340 hours I would know the layout of this game a little bit better. I'm pretty sure Tombsward Catacombs is this little area. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So what? One of the next things I want to set up for stream is, um, not sound alerts, but like, well, I guess they are sound alerts, but like the ones that you can use uh, like on Twitch to make a sound play <laughs> on on my stream. We'll definitely have to set limits so people don't, you know, use it too much. But um, I do think they're fun. Fuck you, these stupid Miranda Blooms. I see you, bats. Huh. The hell? Oh, you jumped down here. Jump back up. Oh, that just takes. Oh, no, okay. I was like, that just takes me back to where I was. I, it's fine. Okay, they literally can't reach me here, though, so.
Oh, okay. I think I see where I'm supposed to go now. So I see off the side of this area, there's those little tombstone things you can jump down. Ah, okay. Think I can get here without dying? Yeah, all right. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even notice that. Ooh, I don't know. I can't remember getting that one. Oh my God, there's a lot of you. It sure would be nice if you got struck by lightning. Get to the tombs or the catacombs. I know that there. I know that there is a way to get down there. Just can't remember how. Oh, well, it's a mine. It's not tombs or catacombs, but. actually look at the map and see where the catacombs are. Is roundtable.net do? <gasps> or roundtablehole.net? Oh no, the app just isn't working for some reason, huh? That sucks. I really hope it's not fucked up. <laughs> I know they got their app pulled from the um, Google Play Store because it mentioned Elden Ring in the title, which is total fucking bullshit. Okay, so yeah, Toonsford Catacombs is... Looks like the entrance is maybe right here. I am not entirely sure, but we'll try. We'll start from the Church of Pilgrimage. And I'm also going to take a bong rip, because I have not done that yet today.
Yeah, going back to something I mentioned earlier, I, I am still considering getting an Elden Ring tattoo. And I do really like the idea of getting a uh, tattoo of Rikard's room. Together, you will demand the very gosh. Or whatever, you know? And he's a family man, too, which I can appreciate. I'm like his, well, I like his father. Fucking rat again. Also, Rykard's voice actor just fucking ate it. Like, top tier performance. The voice actors in this game are phenomenal, and I hope they were appropriately compensated. Oh, I see a couple messages. Is that where the entrance is? Maybe not? Door ahead. Oh! Oh my god, it's right there. And I missed it. Oops. Let me go. <laughs> Applaud this message. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I should write more messages on this save file. Cause I swear I get extra health every like minute or so with Brona. I mean that's an exaggeration, but you, just a slight exaggeration. Okay, so my flasks. What? Okay, yeah, that seems. To be good. Skeleton ahead. Regret ahead. Oh. Ah, uh, I don't know what's in there. I'm gonna wait. So I have a bad habit of just using stone sword keys willy nilly. Like, oh, item? Stone sword key? Got it. Oh, you. Yeah. like this flail or morning star the more i use it the more i like it oh i was like what the fuck is that it's a plant trying to, like, I love swords, don't get me wrong. I probably love swords too much because, like I said earlier, I, I need to branch out from my swords. Oh, no. <laughs> and he punched me in the gut for it. Very funny. Wait, no, he stabs you with an arrow? That's so fucking funny. Last ditch ever. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh fuck. That was wasting stamina. There we go. It sucks cause my I think my second favorite, like general style of weapon, especially stuff that's common in RPGs, 
uh, are axes, but from what I can gather, axes are dog shit in this game, which sucks, you know, but maybe once we get to a point where, you know, if we really have the stats, then the equipment will still be good. But also, I don't know if that's just for great axes or what. But I do recall hearing they're not great. Sad chomba in the woods. Do I have a bow? I'm gonna make a run for it instead. Skeleton! Oh! Ah! I have to survive so I can upload that message. Ooh, five human bone shards. <laughs> Just what I want. Oh, talk too early. This just looks like a side room. Trap ahead, therefore try line. Hello? Oh, okay, so they just spawn at the same time. And yes. I feel very proud that they They fell for my flame forward trick. I love using the traps in this game to beat enemies one of my favorite tricks. I also only just recently learned about the like crystal dart thing where I don't know if it's for multiple enemies but I know specifically for um, the Erd Tree burial watchdogs um, if there's more than one of them and you hit one of them with enough crystal darts, it will, uh, the other one will start attacking it. Let there be something. <laughs> Is it always coughing? I don't know. Holy Moses. Oh, that was a headshot. Shit. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. But I feel like, um... I did not get headshotted that much. And I know as soon as I th say that, I'm going to start a trend of getting headshotted by archers. out for now but enjoy the rest of stream <laughs> level up and go get your wife thank you so much juliver thank you for hanging out as always it's nice to have you around and i uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening oh well, at least i pulled the lever
You too! And uh, sleep well this evening. Hope you uh, have a great rest of your week. Okay, um. Did I activate? Okay, I did activate that. So I'm gonna rest again real quick. Oh shit! Hey, Sage! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, everyone! Oh my gosh! You all are uh, at, a, at a great time. We're about to <laughs> try and fight a boss. But uh, thank you so much for stopping in. And thank you so much for the raid. I hope you guys are doing well. We're just doing a uh, casual Elden Run Ring stream uh, with our like mage knight sort of character. It's going good. It's going good. We're doing a few side quests because the um, main story boss, uh, our character's wife, um, is uh, has proven to be pretty tough. And so we're trying to level up a little bit before we face her again. But that's been going well. We've just been running around. I've been talking incessantly about like my, the lore and my opinions of the lore and how I feel about characters and stuff. So just, you know, typical stream. Hello from Barbie. Oh, thank you so much, Yarin Gay. Thanks, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. But yeah, I hope you got, oh God, I hate these guys. Um, I hope you guys uh, are having a good one. This is some Lovecraft shit trying to eat my face. Excuse me? Holy Moses! Ingval, help! Please, bestie. <laughs> oh god, okay. I dodged it that time. Please. I'm not a dex build. I can't dodge this much. Oh. Oh, right. Aha. Still one of my swords. Of Didn't know you stream. Saw you on another stream or two. Yeah. Yeah, I, de I definitely try to come to as many streams of sages that I can manage because say you know very chill very good vibes great thing to you know listen to at the end of the day but yes I do stream I try to keep at least a semi regular schedule try to at least let people know day of if I don't uh, if I can't stream but um uh, try to stream on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Usually sometime in the evening, but I wanted to have started a little, a little earlier today. Um, I mean it! Like, seriously, like, you were one of the first channels that I followed when I, like, first started on Twitch. Um, so I've, you're, like, one of the channels that I've been following the longest. I mean, since, you know, stuck around, because, like, like I said, like, you have such a chill vibe, and, like, your streams are always super fun and mellow. Um, and then, you know, that can sometimes be hard to find on Twitch. Especially, like, I don't know. It's mellow without being boring, which I feel like is a, a hard, um, balance to maintain. But I think you do a really good job. Like, it's very, very fun just hanging out. I think I am okay I'm definitely not going to try for that ever jail yet hmm do I want to try what's this I'm gonna go up and see what this is and then we will try Castle Lorne oh 
Okay, where, there it is. I do not want to fuck with this knight's cavalry right now. Thank you so much. I'm, glad, I'm so glad you're online. I got to- Hell yeah! Oh, I appreciate that. That's so sweet. And as always, it's, uh, it's a blast to, to hang out with y'all. I, like, really, like, I wouldn't do these streams if they were, like, more stressful, uh, than they were fun. And so, I mean, I really enjoy this. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh. <sighs> That's not me second-guessing the fact that I enjoy streams. It's just me trying to figure out, do I want to deal with this, this shit or not? I guess I'm gonna go ahead and deal with it. I have nothing better to do than to deal with it, if I'm being honest. Oh, hello, buddy. I'm gonna get all these mages while Ingval butts heads with that guy, so you don't get hit in the back of the head with a spell. Oh, run out of magic juice. Oh, jeez, that was brutal. I didn't know they had uh, one of those like lift moves. That's wild. All right, let me heal. Oh, looky there, the side of grace. Lucky us. I don't think I can get into this tower yet. All right, I can't remember if I've met Alexander or not. I think I have. I'm relatively sure that I have. What was he again? Oh, yeah, he was like up here, I think. Maybe? Either way, I'm pretty sure we've seen Alexander. I. Uh, I love that this game is so good at creating characters. Oh, well now that I know what that is, I don't need to. But this game is so good at creating characters um, that even like a gigantic like ceramic pot filled with the guts of people that has somehow been animated by said guts is uh like is a very endearing and beloved character like from soft y'all yeah, did it again okay so since we can't get to that tower i guess we'll maybe go ahead and try to tackle castle more either way i'm going to travel there and i am going to be right back really quick somebody knocked on my door not not in a, not in an alarming way like my bedroom door not you know. Anyway, I'll be right back.
All right, I have returned. I just had some mail that I needed to to get. But um, we are going to take a minute to rest here. And uh, I am going to take another bong rip. So for anybody else who might be smoking tonight, uh, if you'd like to, you can join us in a little uh, cyber-based cheers. <laughs> And uh, if you're not smoking, take a take a drink of water. Throw back uh, some soda pop. I mean, whatever you, you know. Do what you want. Or do nothing at all. I'm not your dad. Anyway, cheers. Oh, no worries, Sage. <coughs> I had literally just gotten back from being right back as well. <coughs> All right. Pretty considerable amount of damage difference. Twenty plus twenty-nine. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try and use the rapier a little bit. Cause I want to get learn how to use that glint blade phalanx. Ugh. Mage Knight to the max. We love to see it. Anyway. Oh, that's not what I intended to do. There we go. Alright, skill. Glint Blade Phalanx. U skill used by the enchanted knights who serve the Carrion royal family. I.e. exactly. Lacia's character. <laughs> Form an arc of magic glint blades overhead, which will attack foes automatically. Follow up with a strong attack to chain this skill into a lunging thrust. Huh. Okay, so let me... Oh wait, I don't have to dismiss them. Ooh! And that's like a... Okay, that's a... That feels like a much longer distance than a regular thrust. I like this rapier. Sody pop. I love... I'm glad. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Walter! Hope all is well. We are just, uh, we're going to see if we're able to tackle Castle Morn. Oh, bye boys. They also have good stagger. That's really good to know. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, don't hesitate to like if you want to give yourself a shout out in chat feel free it's part of why I made the <laughs> shout out command I am so bad about remembering to do it as people come on but um, PT is in like physical therapy I mean not you know not that it's any of my business, but regardless, I hope it went well. Okay, um... Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna summon Ingval and see how it goes. Ooh! Damn! Okay, didn't quite reach that one, but that was a good chunk of damage, holy shit. Rapiers, I think I love you. Okay. We will go ahead and try to deal with Pumpkinhead. Oh, 
know, shouting out is just like, uh, giving like, hang on. Let's take care of this dude and I will. Ah, all right. Um, it's just a command that I have like to be like, hey, you should check this person out. Um, and honestly, I wish like, I wish I could do it to the whole chat right now because, you know. Every, everyone here has very good content. Is there, I thought there was one more beast, man. Maybe not. But like, if you ever want to shout somebody out, you just type in like exclamation point, S O, and then space, whatever they're, whatever their username is. And it should also tell uh, what they were last playing. Even me after my mental breakdown last time. Honestly, like, I understand. I have hit so many walls and I'm just like, <laughs> I, trust me, I get it. We all have our moments. That was, that was me fighting that fucking ulcerated tree spirit near the, uh, drainage channel, Grace. Um. Oh, fuck, I missed. Um. Like, I, like, I literally went from, like, taking probably maybe, like, I'd fought millennia for maybe two hours at that point and hadn't made progress with it. But, um, you know, I was like, okay, fuck it, I'll take a break and like finish up Millicent's quest and so I went to that fucking ulcerated tree spirit and I was like <laughs> it was so like I try to keep myself reeled in but like chat was kind of ro deservedly roasting me on the fact like you're raging more against this like field boss than you are about millennia like knocking your brains out for for two minutes. I'm like, yeah, I know, because for some reason this feels cheaper. <laughs> yeah, the rapier guard counter is super fast. Oh god, let me catch up the chat. I got behind a little bit. Oh, thank you so much, Sage. I appreciate it. You'll have to tell me later how to set up a shout out. Yeah, I use, um, even though I don't use the Streamlabs client anymore, I do use their cloud bot thing because it's very helpful. Um, I'm just going to let these dudes sort it out. You know? I mean, you know, don't mind me. Like, you guys do your thing. There's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this, by way of apology. Yeah, I, um, I do use, do it through Streamlabs. Oh, I, I should deliver the letter. Arena, thank you. I'm in your debt, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain. To ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'll be happy to tell her. I'm sure everything's fine. Ooh. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ, I think I really like this rapier. Rapier? I... I don't really get French words, if I can be entirely honest. Because sometimes I feel like I'm just doing a, an offensive French affectation. <laughs> In a genuine attempt to pronounce the word, so... I'm still not enough. Need like twice as much. Oh wait! I want to. I don't know if I spoke to Nephilim at Roundtable Hole. I want to see if she's here. Bestie. Oh no, she's not here. Ooh, she might be at the village of the Alpenorx. But let me check downstairs area just in case. Okay. So she's probably outside the village. But I think I can summon her for this fight. Alright, behind the castle. Lantern on. Oh, that was bad. That was not. Oh, wait. I don't have to do anything to those guys, I don't think. Is there anything over here besides disappointment? Doesn't look like it. No. I do not need to fight these guys. Oh. I didn't even notice the slime. Alright. God, I love magic. See, I do that shit from a distance and then I'm like, why am I so squishy the minute I get into a melee fight? Nice. What does that one do? Enhances final hit of chain attacks. I think I'm going to stick with the guard counters one. Because I like guard countering. <laughs> Alright. So we'll drop down here. And then we should... Yeah, there we go. I used... No, I haven't used any health flasks. You're spared for now. Scarab. Okay. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was like, I do not want to hop down into that hole immediately. No, thank you. Way to sum up the first run. It's like 
<laughs> I love it though. This has been an, a very fun run so far. Like, I think I definitely need to grind a little bit more once I have the opportunity, but, um... A potion. Stab some mats. Oh. Okay, there we go. Did not lock on when I should have. Oh! And a side of grace. I'm gonna look around in that room one more time just to be sure I didn't miss anything. I whip. Wait. I'm about to be very stupid. Um. I admittedly stole that joke, but it cracked me the fuck up the first time I saw it. So I was like, oh, it's blank right here? Well, somebody's gotta do it. Look, Trifinger's butthole is funny for a reason. Definitely gonna show up for this fight. <gasps> yes! Yeah. Oh no, Edgar! Why did I think it was Nephilim? I'm thinking of Gon. Um, yeah, Godric's fight. Oops. Alright, bud, let's do this. My whole first build was built off rapiers. God, I love it. Honestly, it seems very fun. I'm already having a blast with it, frankly. Let's do this. Oh, I should have messed with my flask before. Oh, well. Too big for my britches. Uh, yep. Edgar, buddy, can you please? Oh, Lord! Please, Edgar. Useless. that. Thanks, Edgar. 
Got that crafted blade. Great sword. I think this is the one that everyone calls the Game of Thrones sword. <laughs> Which I I can see it. Phalanx. Yeah. I'm trying to use summons as little, like, uh, spirit summons as little as possible. Um, and when I do use them, I try to use, like, I really love the fanged ambashes, and I try to use, like, lower level stuff first. Um, and if I, like, use an NPC summon, I try not to use them. Like, I don't use them at all. Um, I've been able to do that so far. Am I going to be able to keep that up? I don't know. I did not do that with Renala's fight. I just straight up was like, nope, I need help from both a summon and an NPC. Or not Renala's fight. Uh, Godric's fight. Yeah, there's nobody to help me with Renala's fight. Oof, I almost have enough to level up. I need... Like... 2200 more. Nice. I want to try to get my Vigor up to 30 before I fight Renala again. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and go through the Morn Tunnel. Well, okay. I'm, I'm going to save that one for later because I was like, I don't want to lose track and like assume that I already did it. But, like, if I'm not sure, I remembered that, like, if you've, like, started a dungeon, but you haven't, like, f defeated the boss of the dungeon, like, once you get in there, you cannot fast travel out of it. Like, you can't, you know, select another side of grace. Um, but once you defeat the boss, you can. So that's, like... A relatively easy way to tell if you've defeated the boss in one of those areas is to travel and then see if you can travel out of it. Um. Oh, now, well, now we have to. Oh, well, now we have to deal with this. Well, no, we should talk to. Edgar first. Plant snacks. Yeah, I, I call Placid Dusix or whatever. I sincerely, like, I can't remember what combination it is in my head, but I always call him Plastic Snacks. Um, I like his breath attack. I don't know how, uh, how useful it actually is, but it's fun because it's very show-offy, and I like that. And it does seem pretty potent against certain enemies. Especially if they're slow and can't get, you know. Can't get out of the way of a uh, continuous attack. Oh. There we go. Oh, actually, I don't know if I checked out this little area. Did I? Okay, I don't see any pickups. It's fine. Oh, well, okay.
Oh, I didn't know the pumpkin had respawned. That's fine. I called grenades danger pineapples on stream last time and it killed my chat. That's so funny. I don't know why, but that's so perfect for a euphemism for a grenade. I use any opportunity to uh, call hors d'oeuvres horse divorces. <laughs> so I saw it once and now it, and it was stuck in my brain forever. Oh, hey, bud, you're really eager to say hi, aren't you? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Nice. Only have one arrow stuck in us. That's that's pretty good. So now we just need to make it back over to Edgar and talk to him. Just gonna run through. I were keeping the sword from those foreign creatures. Ooh. I'm no longer bound by duty. I'm safe. Rescue Darina, I will spend my remaining days with her. Does he have Thanks anything? To you, I will be reading to vote my Rarina as I only hope it remains intact. Yeah, bud, me, me too. Uh. <laughs> this one still still deals some emotional damage and I still subject myself to it in every single playthrough because I want to do all of the character quests Brina how could this be my daughter deserved better the fault lies with me I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. I'll find the foul oh. Oh, I feel so fucking bad for Edgar and Irina. Mostly Irina, but... Alright, let me swap this out for that. Oh my god! <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, Edgar's gone, gone. All right, well. Now that we've done that. How many? I believe I have, yes, I have two Shabriri grapes in my possession. Hello? 
Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If wow, I'm it's so weird that ask, I've been here before and Hayata wasn't here. To me. But My then after Irena died, you see. suddenly Hayata shows up. To go next. I'm sure there is no connection. Those grapes. I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Oh, thank you for the emote. I do love collecting shit in this Bok, game. This seems ready to make. Oh, wait! Did I go? Did I get the? Oh, I think I need to have demigod apparel. Before Bok says anything about gold. Yep, yep. It literally says that in the item description. Womp womp. Alright, the next place she shows up is like right here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just... Ugh. I just love the, like, quests and stories in this game that I do a lot yeah. of them just repeatedly. And also, I'm a little bit of a completionist because I'm like, oh, I want... Yeah. I'm on a pilgrimage, and when I eat... You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. I just, <laughs> I just find the storyline, storyline engaging and like. Fucking poor Hyetta. I feel so. B and you're right. Actually, I should probably leave her alone. If we're actually <laughs> being a decent person towards her. Um. Hmm. Don't feel ready to face Renala again quite yet. Oh, how many runes? Not very many. I'll still go back to Church of Vows. And I think I gave a scroll over to Muriel. So I'll see if there are any spells that I can get. Yeah, I know healing magic hurts revenants. I just like, a lot of times I would just rather breeze by than deal with them. And actually those, those the little ones, even though they look kind of like revenants, I think those are actually spirit callers. So that was like on me for calling them revenants, but yeah, the fucking, I, I always forget to equip healing spells because I, I mean, I just, I forget to consider them, honestly. Oof. Okay. Yeah, no, this is. These are way beyond my... Actually, no. I'm only two points short for the Carrion Greatsword. Alright. Uh, 
Hmm. I think a lot of the little dudes just outside of this area give a decent amount of runes uh, when killed. It's the vulgar militia dudes. Oh, shit, sorry. Thought I had something for you. My bad, bud. I want to play a perfume. I think it would be a very fun play style, especially if it was like a seamless co-op mod where like you could like play as a support or even just like relying on like melee like spirit ashes and like play support to that like I think that would be a super interesting way to run the game. What? Why? I didn't know we had beef. I swear he hadn't attacked me before when I was just... Well. Alright, well, I guess plan B. I will go back to the farming spot that I have felt is tried and true in the early game. I'm also debating whether or not I want to continue my new game plus even a little... Honestly, that's, I mean, I think that's com completely understandable. Okay, I was like, oh, please don't tell me it's gonna turn into the fucking bell bearing hunter. Alright, let me. so funny that the way that your fucking character like looks at your stuff like oh, oh. oh hi That's not what I meant to do. I know that ideally charging it works, but I feel like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe early on I got into the habit because like there wasn't that much difference in damage, but now that I'm getting higher intelligence, you're right. I gotta, It is not more efficient to spit a bunch of smaller ones out. Even though I just did that again. Ooh, there we 
There we go. And up. Okay. I'm sorry to dirt you. All right, we'll do charged ones this time. I just smack him with my staff. All right, cool. Good run. You're right. <laughs> I appreciate, I very much appreciate the, the call out, Walter, because you're right. Also, I found out, well, huh, that was probably longer than a few minutes. Um, oh shoot, I don't have the cookbook that lets you make gold pickled fowl feet. Um, that's alright, we can still... Like, ugh, the glint blade phalanx is okay, but it's still it's still not quite. It doesn't hit quite right compared to the um, magic glint blade. Also, I'm gonna hit my bong again really quick before we continue farming these trolls. Overkill. Very overkill. Oh. 
little slow to react. What the fuck? I'm so oh. <laughs> Took me a minute to figure out what you meant by share. I would I would pass it. Pass it your way if I could. Okay. So actually let me go ahead and go back to Table of Lost Grace. And we'll talk to D again. Ah. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is solid, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Sorry to hear that, Pod. Did you need something else? Hmm. Okay, well he doesn't have any more talking points. I will see. Don't know if I have enough smithing stones to upgrade. Well, I took you for no matter. Hey, out your own. Ooh, I do. Okay. And the Demi human queen staff. Oh, I thought that one took um somber stones. I was wrong, apparently. All right. I wonder if I can. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Upgrade any of my spirits. Do more th with Fia's quest line later. I do have to limit myself to how sidetracked I get. Okay, so now let's travel back here. And maybe if we don't crowd him, maybe if we go off to the side, he won't be as. I try to go after my runes. I regret it because I think I hear him squaring up. Yep. He's squaring up. 
before he can hit me, I'm gonna fast travel. Because I'm a coward. But I'm a smart coward. Alright, so how many do I need? I only need 2,000. I have that easy. He hates me. I don't think I attacked him. I can't remember attacking him. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Not what I meant to do. Nice. Oh, I have one more. One more at my side. Alright. See if there's one over there. Oh, and there's an astrolabe. I doubt it's just one though. Oh, thanks for thanks for looking, Katie. I appreciate you stomping in, as always. Hope you have a good rest of your evening. Yes, I still, I will pretty much always roll over the glowy skulls. <laughs> Thanks for the rain, Walter. <laughs> they can't stop me for rain. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no.
Oop. There we go. Alright, I think there's a couple more up in this area. I see at least two. Looks like I did already get the golden seed here. But I also do not want to get <laughs> into the danger zone with that fucking gargoyle. I mean, good work. Thanks. Oh shit, I don't have any... Alright. I should quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> And again, I might have the runes. Yeah, so I just need 25, no. Yeah, 2,500. So. one of these. Alright. Ooh, I keep forgetting to mess with my flask of wondrous physic. So I should do that now. to go to more herb trees. <laughs> but I think I'm going to pop. No, okay, I'm not going to do a rune arc my first time around. I am going to see how my plan does in the first place. I'm also going to reallocate flask really quick. One more for cerulean flasks. Alright. And I think actually now yeah. I can uh, equip a slightly bulkier helm. But we are uh, we're Gonna go see how we fare against Renala. So my idea, hey, you got hair now. See, I would love to run around without a helmet, but I truly feel like, you know what? Fuck it, let's do a fashion souls run, no helmet, because I fucking love the way Laisha looks. I love making characters in this game. <laughs> I think they turn out very good. She looks flushed as hell in the candlelight, but...
actually... I want... Hmm. Before I... Before I get too far ahead, because I hate that ball trap, I just remembered the... Maybe I could change affinity. Oh no, I don't have the uh, proper thing to give it bleed. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your own. Ooh. Oh, but she probably has resistance to magic. That's silly. Um, yeah, okay. I think it's fine the way it is now. All right, now we will head to the debate parlor. And see how we do with Renala again. like I was damaged after I'd rolled past the large ball. Oh wait, I also picked up Lutel the Headless. I don't, ooh, I don't have enough um, FP to summon her, but. Anyway, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chug this and then I'm just gonna use Glintstone Arc to try and hit as many at the sweetings as possible at one time. Alright, sorry if I'm not reading chat. I'm just like super focused right now.
Oh, yikes! Oh my gosh, I'm already out of Crimson Tear Flasks. Maybe I should rebalance. Yikes! Okay, let's Oh my god, skin of my teeth. I know, Lutel is so fucking good. Hello, Miss Ma'am. Ah, oh, my beloved. No fear. I will hold thee. That's all I needed to hear. All right. Oh, I have no. So drink this. the comet that got hit with a oh, shard. I know, the music in this fight is so good. So I just need to rapier my way through the first area, actually. <laughs> That's a good sign. Don't bother trying to get them all. Dodge like crazy. Yeah, I was like, my uh, rune arc idea, or, or my glintstone arc idea sounded much better in my head. Um, really, the rapier is very good at just tapping them quickly, which is enough. And also landed a lot of fucking damage on Renala, I have to say. Like, more than I expected.
Oh, and I was doing so fucking good. R.I.P. in peace. Maybe I should summon... Uh, no. Because the spirit summons really don't know where to aim. So, unless they're like one-hit killers, I don't really know that they're going to do that much. You know what? Do I have anything that increases FP? No, I don't. Maybe a helmet, yeah. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Thanks, Katie! Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Hope you have a good rest of your night and a good rest of your week. I might wander the uh, the academy a little more if I can't tackle Renala in a couple more tries. up a little soon. again I will probably don't know how don't know about this run but we did learn that it does not cost much to spam arches I'm waiting until phase two to summon because I don't want him to get distracted by like hit, like trying to kill all of the sweetings and then also taking damage at the same time. So. Oh, just got grazed by it by a little bit. Jesus Christ, Renala. She really discourages long distance, huh? All 
right, well, maybe we'll run around the academy grounds instead. Explore a little bit. No worries, Walter. Take your time. There we go. Nice. I hate that fucking abductor virgin. I'm trying to get up on the second layer again. There we go. Crab. <gasps> Crab! There we go. Woo. Thanks, Ava. Ooh, nice. Alright, so I know Ingval's going to disappear once I go up either of these staircases, but the health is much appreciated, buddy.
Okay. I'm just going to sprint up there as fast as I can because I've found that works better than... Okay. Yes! Okay. 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 Good job. Good job, team. Doesn't even from this side. should equip a heal spell. I don't think I need that much faith to be able to use that. <gasps> Knights! Bootstone wet blade. There we go. And I can open this door. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I like how it gives you the opportunity, like, it gives you little shortcuts where, like, now and then, like, oh, if you want to run back and heal up real quick, now you can just run up through this area. Damn, I forgot that abductor virgin respawns. That's dastardly. item. Nice. Love some golden runes. Anything? Nope. Alright. Wizard showdown. Let's go. 
Oh, shit. I shouldn't have. There we go. Forgot all about that last little gargoyle. Thank you for the follow, Master Marshmallow, eh? Welcome in. If I can manage to get to Renala, would you want help? I, maybe at some point, but also I, I like, I'm trying to like challenge myself a little more on this run. So like if I'm beating my head into the wall, I, I want to like make some progress, you know? Um, probably shouldn't have dropped down here, huh? Turn back, try right. Oh, I should chug one of these. Oh. I should I got into the habit of charging them and then I stopped charging them I will grow out of it eventually so I think I dropped down here Oh! No, he didn't fall. No, he did fall. <laughs> oh, buddy. That sucks. Alright. See what's over here. A couple of magic greases. The difference in damage is so significant. Say that exactly as I wrote it, please. I knew it. There we go. I remember that little fucker from above. Okay. So I'm just gonna head back in here. Will you drop down on the chandelier? There we go. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. So now I can give that to Tops. I think that's the last fancy item in here. I know if I go outside of the debate parlor and then back up on the other side, I think there's a there's an amulet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've played this game before. I remember things. Shorten spell casting time. I think I might like that one even more. And a crystal bud. Nice. Okay. So, let's go back to the debate parlor. And I think we need like 13,000 to level up. Yeah, well, actually almost 14,000. So I need like 6,900 rupees. <laughs> yeah. 6,000. Nice. I knew someone was going to say. Okay, I'm gonna go try to kill the, the folks who keep summoning the orb. So I don't know if it's a permanent fix, but I at least want revenge. go through or do I want to go through here wait what is I should read the message church ahead Anybody else? You good? That's what I thought. Cool. So now I have this shortcut. So now I will go through the portal and see what see what it leads to. Oh. Well, not what I was hoping. That's all right. Actually, 
since I already got teleported back, I should go give this extra key to Tops. Yay! Back to learn Why, of course. Ooh, and now I can. I think I can open that tower, maybe? Is that it? No. Oh, do I seek three wise beasts? Oops. Oh, there's one. The last one is in the trees, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Fuck this rune bear. Yeah. Oh, it's in the bush right there. I see it now. Nice. Thank you. spell slot. Maybe I should try for this tower next. Alright, I'm gonna rest at this side of grace really quick and I will be right back.
All right, we are back. Oh God. Okay, yeah, that's not. Hmm. I don't know if I ever went to that waypoint. There's a site of grace near here that I've just forgotten to nab at some point. Wow, the lighting in this place is so weird right now. with those lobsters. Hate those fucking lobsters. There's got to be a side of grace around here, right? Right? There it is. Oh, three more wise beasts. for a glowy spot on the ground in case this last one is invisible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just got the one in the tree. Up, don't- yeah. Yeah, the one that was there. I'm 
Oh, I can get on my horse. Probably make it a little bit faster. Be wary of down. Dog ahead in short seat clip. Oh! Dog! Dog. Oh, dog. <laughs> 